Hello, this is Overlord Coex, and today I will be reviewing, no, not an app, I will be reviewing the iPhone 3GS, which has not been asked for at all, but I just got one, so I decided I'd review it. iPhone 3GS is very nice, even outside of a good case. It has a micro, a microphone he, or a speaker here for, so that when you call, like this, you can hear the person, and it's close to your ear. Then they have speakers at the bottom here that you talk into so that they can hear. And it, and it it's the call quality on this is amazing. Even though it's on AT&T, I would recommend getting an iPhone 4 on Verizon because Verizon's just all around better than AT&T. But still, this is a great phone all around. On the back, you've got one camera with the high resolution. You've got an Apple sy symbol, an iPhone, and then the amount of gigabytes you have, and then a bunch of random symbols, and who it was designed by, and stuff like that. Over here, they have the volume button, which is which uh, adjusts the volume. And this button right here is not shown on the iPod Touch, but when you move it down, it changes the iPhone to vibration so that when you're at the movies or church, you don't get this you don't get somebody calling you on your cell phone. When you turn it on, you have a lock screen. I took a picture of this bug thing and made it black and white and did all that with Adobe Photoshop Express, which I will be reviewing in a later video. Once you open it up, then you have your big home screen. You've got, you can have pages of apps, or you can have folders. Many of the apps that, that, um, that are on the App Store are very good and are, and can, uh, and do compete well with high resolution games. Um, in the comment section, please ask for a Call of Duty game on the iPod. Whether it be like whether it be a Black Ops Zombies or something or like that, what just ask petition for a Call of Duty game on the iPod. Try to get Activision to make one because they that would completely blow away all the competition. Because right now, I don't think I like Modern Combat right now. Um, but yeah. So on the inside, it's very easy to navigate. A two-year-old could figure out how to do this. In fact, two-year-olds play with iPads, so it does. So. Yeah, Apple did a good job with this. You just tap on the folder to make everything expand, and then tap on an app to be able to use it. They have you, some of the apps that come with it are YouTube. You can link your mail account. You have texting. You have a phone. You and then you have your contacts. The App Store iTunes Game Center for like Xbox Live achievements sort of like it's like Xbox Live it's not Xbox Live though F uh photos a calendar that like a Palm Pilot sort of thing a weather a weather app ma uh Google Maps you can manage your stocks here you've got a notepad then here's the camera and so yeah some other apps I would recommend you get right away is text free and now I know you're like, hey, wait, my iPod, my iPhone can text, my iPhone can call, so what do I need this for? Well, the answer is, if you're like me and don't want to spend $100, and yes, it is $100, they tried to charge me for a plan on AT&T, you can just make calls over, over Wi-Fi. You can just call people or text somebody over Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much everywhere. It's in the mall, it's at Starbucks, everywhere you'd usually go. So that's one app I'd recommend getting. Another one is Adobe Photoshop Express. It does it allows you to edit photos. Lego Photo, it allows you to take a picture and then turn it into Legos. Then you've got and that is the iPhone 3GS. It is um, they come in 16 and 32 gigabyte models. Right now, if you sign a two-year contract with AT&T, which I don't recommend you do, you can get it for $50. But this is Overlord Kohix signing out.